you know, today, if you have a mobile app, let's say a retailer, you, you really wouldn't know necessarily if those customers are visiting your stores, you wouldn't know which stores, you wouldn't know which departments in those stores. With this capability, you could theoretically know that I went to this department store on this day and I visited the shoe department. From Mobilecast Media's headquarters in Silicon Valley, this is Mobile App Development TV with John Houghton. John Houghton with Mobile App Development TV here at Apps World 2014, here with Brent. How do you say your last name? Hegelkey. Hegelkey. How are you doing, Brent? I'm doing fine, John. Good to see you. Great. So, I uh, wanted to find out about iBeacon. Tell us briefly first what iBeacon is. Sure. Well, iBeacon is a new capability that Apple announced at their last conference, and it's got the industry really excited because what it does is it takes a mobile experience indoors and creates completely new capabilities for what those might look like. I, I think of it in two ways. I think of it that we now have a lot of data on what people are doing online and what they're doing on their mobile devices, but now we have the option of um, collecting with permission data about what they're doing physically in, in the physical world. That's correct, and that, that brings a whole new thing, uh, a whole new capability about insight. So, you know, today, if you have a mobile app, let's say a retailer, you, you really wouldn't know necessarily if those customers are visiting your stores, you wouldn't know which stores, you wouldn't know which departments in those stores. With this capability, you could theoretically know that I went to this department store on this day and I visited the shoe department. That's really interesting for them now to know that you're a shoe shopper at this particular store. So it brings the ability to serve and, and really segment that customer to a whole nother level, which means they can turn that around and use that to re-engage that customer when they have certain things that are of interest. So that's, that's kind of why it's exciting. And so I hear some, some concerns about privacy. How do we allay those concerns? So the good thing is, you know, this is really all opt-in. So even location tracking is opt-in. Consumer says yes. So you know, in our world, we do push messaging. So the consumer has opted in first by downloading the app. So if I download your app, I'm basically coming to you. Secondly, I've said yes to receiving push messages. That's the second opt-in. And then if location tracking's at play, they, there's a separate, are you okay with this app tracking your location? So at that point, the consumer said yes three times. If they're not you know, overtly stating the fact that they want a relationship with you by three, three time opt-in, you know, I don't really know what else you can do, but uh, the consumer's in, in control, you know, ultimately, and, and they're getting savvier about what they do, and they don't give these permissions to everybody. You know, you have to earn the privilege for them to say yes at each one of these levels. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Brent. All right, thanks, John, it's been a pleasure. You have been watching Mobile App Development TV with John Houghton. Mobile App Development TV is part of the Mobilecast Media blog. For more information, please visit mobilecastmedia.com slash blog. Thank you.